Well, everyone is talking about this today. The moment Will Smith hit Chris Rock on the Oscar stage, he slapped him. Uh, it happened after Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head. Yeah, it's now shining a light on a condition called alopecia. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz joins us. And Liz, Pinkett Smith suffers from this condition, so tell us about it. Yeah, about four years ago, Jada Pinkett Smith revealed she was diagnosed with alopecia areata, which causes hair loss. Since then, she shared her journey on social media. And I talked to a dermatologist over at Duke Health about what exactly this condition is and what can be done about it. In a 2018 episode of Red Table Talk, Jada Pinkett Smith sharing her struggle with alopecia areata, saying, quote, it was terrifying when it first started. You know, I was in the shower one day and then just handfuls of hair just in my hands. And I was just like, oh, my God, am I going bald? Pinkett Smith says that's why she cut her hair and she's not alone in this fight. It can be um, devastating, and some people go, you know, undercover, stay at home. Dr. Elise Olson is a dermatologist with Duke Health. At least one to two percent of the population in the U.S. have had alopecia areata at some point or um, may develop this. She says alopecia areata is a common problem. Autoimmune uh, disorder of the hair follicle, any hair follicle, by the way, just usually presents in the scalp, but it can be elsewhere. Um, it can involve any age, any race, any sex. Uh, typically starts in childhood, but someone can develop this first time as an adult. Dr. Olson says there are remissions from episodes of hair loss, and not that many patients are having an ongoing episode at any given time, though it is common to have multiple hair loss episodes. I mean, the key for this, I think, is that patients need to realize that it is a potentially reversible hair loss. So um, it's not permanent, uh, it doesn't have to be permanent, but it can be persistent. Dr. Olson encourages patients to see their dermatologists because there are ways of treating alopecia areata in its early stages. People like Jada, who's been able to bring attention to it, that's going to help us to find something that's going to really be a cure or to treat it more effectively. And as of now, Dr. Olson says there is no cure or FDA-approved treatment for alopecia areata. Guys, I was saying I had a best friend. Uh, she lost her hair in second mm -hmm. grade, and you know we're in our 40s now, and she still wears a wig. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, all right. A lot Liz, of people thank you. deal with it. Yeah. yeah.